Yeah. All right, need to roll attention, please. Uh, first of all, thank all of you all for coming. We do have two sessions. This is the uh, sixth bell session, so hopefully you're in the right session. Um, next bell will be seventh bell session. We do have uh, presenters from uh, Scarlet Oaks. Uh, they call their name. You could just raise a hand or stand up. Jordan Franklin. J.B. On Coleman. Ian Ewing Jackson and Braden Harvin. I asked this young man to come back and um, present to you because I did this a few years ago with Christiana Amos last game. She really enjoyed it. Um, I think as we get closer to you all graduating, and for those who are interested in going to Star Oaks, it's better not to hear from me, but it's better to hear from students who are actually are over there uh, putting in the work, doing the programs, because one day it's going to be due. Several of you all are, are interested in going, and we're excited for that. And they're excited to give you kind of their account of how things are going at Star Oaks. And I told them, I said, you know, let the kids know things that you wish you would have asked when you were a sophomore of a senior who was at Star Oaks. Um, I told them, I said, you know, speak about and be real about it, you know. And some ways you tell you, it's not been pretty, you know, all the time over there. And it's not going to be. No school is, even Scarlet Oaks. Um, so behind me, I've got a PowerPoint. Please pay attention to this. I read a real quick video here. What is a career tech education? It's about a three minute video. What will I become? It's a question we all ask ourselves. When we are young, our first aspirations may be becoming famous, being a teacher, a doctor, a firefighter, or even a pro athlete. Later, we might envision becoming a scientist, an entrepreneur, a CEO. Sometimes we aspire to become rich, to climb the ladder of success, to be a leader. What a ride these past two years have been. Our dreams change as we go through life. But we never truly stop asking ourselves that question. And we shouldn't, because there are so many opportunities. So much to explore, so much to learn, so much to do. Here in Ohio, there are places that help us answer the question, what will I become? Across our great state, these places are where we can explore our possibilities. Where we can take risks, where we can embrace our skills, our talents, our passions, where we can strive for success and pull ourselves back up after a failure. Ohio's 49 career centers are places for the spirited explorers, those with grit and wonder. They are places for the dreamers and for the doers. These places open doors and break down barriers. Career technical education is a diverse community that makes the experience matter. Career Tech is people who help guide you, who help shape and mold you. They prepare you for college, prepare you for the workforce, prepare you for service to country. Career Tech is people who will prepare you for life. Ohio's career centers and the people who power them believe in you. They are industry experts, they are mentors, and they believe in your possibility. We believe that learning is not just confined to classrooms, our classrooms are what you make them, hands-on, relevant, meeting the needs of now. So what will you become? You will become our next great welder, lawyer, doctor, chef, engineer, pharmacist, technician, nurse, actor, or so much more. You will become a risk taker, confident, an expert, a professional, a leader, you will become what you want to be. And our career centers, these places, and the people who represent them will help you get there.
right, now what programs are available? Um, your image specialist case manager may have introduced you to a catalog for 22, 23. It looks pretty much exactly like this. In this catalog, it will detail to you the programs available to you, available at Scarlet Oaks, which is pretty much Princeton's um, technical school. And we're affiliated, Scarlet Oaks is affiliated with uh, several high schools uh, locally and throughout the state. And they pretty much have every, every program you could possibly be interested in. Uh, these young men will be explaining to you that their program and why they chose that program, and you know, if they're happy, they did go into that program. Um, sometimes you go into a program, and you're like, uh-uh, I want to change this. And they will tell you that you can do that. But you don't want to go over there and in five weeks change to five different programs. They don't want you to do that. But if you kind of change your mind, they'll work with you on that. Okay? Now, which program might be right for me? There are some career interest sheets that I'm pretty sure your uh, case manager has kind of gone over with you. Um, as I said before, I don't like blood. You know, I, I'm the guy who go gets a shot, like they say to like twinkle your toes because if you won't think about it, I do that. And I'm a grown man, I do not like shots. It would not make any sense for me when I was young, to go into a profession that involved blood, it would, it would, no, I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have made it very long. So, think about programs, things you want to do, ask yourself, five years from now, what I want to be doing to make money, legally, <laughs> in a program where you get a W-2, where you can build on that, when a young man is going to tell you how much he's making a week, and I'm just like, what? Like, it's, it's a very nice amount. And he's not even graduated from high school yet. So think about what you might like to pursue vocational training in. The career interest sheets will assist you with aligning your interest with your available programs. Click the link above, and it will take you on a list of programs available and give you more in-depth information about each one that is offered. So these. This is kind of what one would look like, and your uh, case manager can go over more with you because all of this information is, is in that um, catalog, the Great Oaks catalog. Do my interests line up with the career? Now, pretty much all of you all have done a um, career cluster inventory, and sometimes we think we're interested in doing, and what the job actually entails do not align. It's important to have a career that lines up with what you are actually interested in working on. You can use the link above below to see what interests are and what they might relate to in programs that are available with the Great Oaks. Some of you have already done something similar to this. If not, talk to your case manager about doing something like this. Um, kind of see where your interests are. Requirements. This is very important. I need for everyone to pay attention to this. Because we have a lot of students who go over for the visit. The visit's not until February. They start applying, you can start applying to Scarlet Oaks in December. So two months after you can start applying, all sophomores in this building will go to Scarlet Oaks for a visit. And the last class they got to do this with these kids. No one's been able to visit Scarlet Oaks because of COVID. When you go, I promise you, if you had no desire to go at all, you might change your mind. It's really cool. I think all these students would tell you that going over and visiting, really like, you know, I, I, I may want to do this. I, I, I'm going to do this. But if you don't apply in December, you won't get the program you want by February. And some students don't think about, like, their future until they can't do something they want to do. We have a lot of sophomores who are missing credits because they failed them as freshmen. So, requirements, you need two English, two math, two science, two social studies, two PE, one health, two fine arts. These two English credits are full credits. 
it's not two half credits. So you need to have your freshman, sophomore, English, math, science, social studies, PE health credits. Or if you apply and you don't have all these credits, there is a way for you to get in. You can be conditionally accepted. But that means you gotta go to summer school. So if you, didn't, if you don't have any PE credits, or maybe you don't have one, maybe you don't have any health credit, then your only chance of getting that credit, if you haven't earned it yet, is to have it on your schedule next semester or take it in summer school. We have several students that will take summer school just so they can go to Star Oaks. So it is important for you to pass those classes that you're in right now if you're serious about going to Star Oaks. If you don't meet these requirements, in that meeting, you can apply, but if you don't have these credits, they're going to say they can't take you. All right? That's all I have. Um, I think George said he wanted to go first, so I just want to let George come up and let us know how things are going to start off, why he went. All right, George, take it away. All right, Princeton High School. How y'all doing? <laughs> like Mr. Henley said, Scarlet Oaks is a great way to make money legally. Not illegally. Okay. Um, and I'll be honest with you, you apply, you get accepted, whatever program, your junior year, at least I know from my lab and from what I've heard from everybody else, you're not going to make any money. You're not going to go on a job placement, is what they call it there your junior year. That's all mostly for senior year, right? You get all your credentials, your certifications. Um, I think everybody has at least something they can earn, take, test on for credentials for every lab there that they have. Um, you get to put that on a resume, apply for jobs. Employers see that and they hire you. Um, Again, like I said, senior year, and you get out there, start making money. Um, now the program I'm in, uh, the electrical, pretty much the general term of it, it's official name is residential commercial. So you do get to learn some industrial, um, it, uh, at least my experience with it, um, I was a little more of an outcast my junior year, but I can say for sure that uh, my senior year, I made a lot more friends, definitely some lifelong friends. More friends than I would ever make here at this school. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so there's that. Make money, make friends. Um, you get to work in the industry. You build up time, working jobs, um, gain experience, and the more money you make. Because at least I'm going on, I have an interview tomorrow for a company. Start out pay is 15 an hour. And I know everyone likes to say that 15 is the minimum standard now. I don't think it is. Because I tried applying for McDonald's and they would only give me like 11 or 12. So it's not the minimum standard. I don't know what, it's, I don't know what the word is that's been floating around. But um, 15 is a good start, at least for my, for what I'm learning. And again, there's um, pay raises. It's a career. You know, people said there's jobs and then there's careers. Those are two different things. Job, you go to McDonald's, that's a job, okay? Sure, you're gonna get pay raises, but, okay, but get promoted to a manager, like that's as high as you're gonna go, all right? Trust me, you, know, you don't wanna get stuck at McDonald's. Make it like a, a summertime job. As an electrician, or any other field that you go into at Scarlet, it is a career. There is endless amounts of pay raises, because, if you stay in that career your whole life, um, you're gonna get pay raises, you're gonna get promoted, you're gonna have leadership opportunities to run 
organize, create something of your own. And it's, um, it's pretty cool in my opinion. It's a lot of growth. And I've been told you can end up as a, as a CEO one day, but that's just uh, shooting for the stars, so. Huh. I mean, those guys, they get paid big bucks, big money. Yeah. But uh, you get anywhere near that position as a CEO, you're already set for life. I mean, you got money, you're making money, really good money, so. Uh, that's all in this off. Um, I would say Scarlet as a school, it is a lot more lenient than Princeton. I went here my freshman and sophomore year, and I can confidently tell you, if you go to, if you go to Scarlet, um, teachers there are a lot more relaxed, uh, it's a lot more lenient. I've been able to uh, skip class so many times, it's not even funny. <laughs> I know they don't, but I said that and it makes you guys laugh, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, okay. Um, I'll say one thing. You get on placement, at least for my lab, you go to school two days a week, and you go to school, or yeah, school two days a week, and you get to go work at your company, your job, whatever you do, three days a week. And for my lab, it is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You go out and work, you go to school on Monday and a Friday. And even with that, you can still leave, tell your lab instructor, yeah, I'm going to work. You'll be like, okay, see ya. And boom, you're out there making money Monday and a Friday and making, you can work overtime. Overtime's really good money, time and a half, double pay. Uh, work on the weekends if you want to, if you're a workaholic. So, do something not pretty lazy. Um, yeah, so. I really recommend you go. It is a wonderful place. Not a lot of kids, not a lot of students have the opportunity to go to something like this. You have the opportunity, it is free. The, the, um, the credentials, the certifications that you earn, I mean, that is all money paid through Scarlet, through school. If you come out of high school, if you come out of this school, this high school, Princeton High School, and you say, I want to be an electrician, I want to do something, I want to be in the industry. Well, you can go to Scarlet as an adult, but you're the one paying for that. So this is a really great opportunity. No money out of your pocket, no skin off your back, really. If you don't like it, just come back here. I don't know why you would, the school sucks. So, mm, yeah, that's all I got to say. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Good job, <laughs> back to what Jordan said to start it off about uh, placement. Placement is, I'm on placement. I go to schools Fridays and Thursdays and then the rest of the week is just work. All you do is work. His lab is different than mine. His Tuesday, when, what was it? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, his was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Mine's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so I work weekends as well. And my job, really good. Certifications, you, my certifications are useless in this job, but, so what we do, you guys got those certifications, right? Yeah, I don't know. So what we yeah. did last year, last year? Yeah, last year, mm -hmm. we, get these, we go to this building, we do certifications, because I'm a carpentry, they're electricians. He's in web app. Whatever job you want, you name it, they got it. Really good. And I'm gonna tell you, they're they're really lenient, as he said. Granted, there are things that you can get in trouble for, really bad. And uh, there's a big difference moving to uh, Scarlet from here. And I will say, the biggest one was was the environment. It was really different going to Scarlet because this, this place is way different. Scarlet has, so half the day you got academics and then half the day in your lab. And in lab, you, you do whatever you do. So like, let's say for me, I'm in carpentry, half the day you're academics, half the day you're out building stuff, doing things, painting, building houses. And uh, it's really good learning opportunity for all of you. 
and really recommend that you guys go. Because I'm on placement, I make decent money. So I work, you know, weekends, halfway through the week. I make about a grand a week, it's really good. And uh, as I said, as Jordan said, not many kids get the opportunity to go to a school like this and, you know, make money like that. And uh, I went to Scarlet. If, honestly, if it wasn't for Mr. Hanley, I wouldn't have gone. I'm not gonna lie. He he talked about it to me. I was like, it doesn't sound all right. And he knew that this job that I have now, I've always wanted it. Talked to him about it a lot. And. Uh, you know, he talked me into going to Scarlet. I worked to get to Scarlet, and as Jordan said, your first year there, you don't do much. You don't. You're not really. Nobody goes on placement their first year there, but but uh, some people do. But your first year, it's it's. I'm gonna be honest. It's pretty boring when you first start because in labs, every lab's different, but they make you do like a lot of book work, like tons, and it's just you know. But. Uh, the second year, senior year, you, all we've been doing is labs. I don't, honestly, I don't know what they're doing because I'm a placement, but um, it's it's really good. And uh, classes there. How many classes do they have here? Like in total? Uh, seven bells. Seven bells. Okay. So there, last year, my first year, I had four classes, and uh, this year I'm I'm down to two because. If you do well your first year, you get enough credits, they'll, they'll move you down. They'll reduce it all, you'll be ready. And I'm on the track to graduating early. You just gotta, you gotta put in the work and honestly just do, do as best you can, honestly. And uh, it's this, Scarlet Oaks, I can't say this, I'm, I'm gonna say it again, but it, it's really helped me because like, before Scarlet, I was working at Skyline. I hated that job, I'll tell you that. And uh, as soon as I started, I was talking to my dad, talking to my teachers about placement. They all were saying that it would be really good. And now I'm making you know, good money. All you guys can get good money from this. And it's, it's just, I really recommend going. And the teachers, they're, they're really understanding. They're really helpful. And uh, if you guys struggle, you know, just go up to them, ask them, ask them questions. They'll help you out, very understanding. So if you guys ever want to attend Scarlet, at, do it. it and I promise you it'll benefit you in every way, no matter what you guys want to do. Because as I said, you name the job, they got it. They can help you do it. But, uh... Other than that, yeah. Any questions? Anything? Well, those same questions were author. Uh, I was speaking with the uh, Yeah, thank you. Okay, who's next? Did you say your name, Jamie? I'm Jamie Alcorn. which I don't like, which I regret. The lab, the lab, the first year, it's pretty boring, like you said. All you do is sit there and code pages and pages. A lot of book work. Second year, I learned how to take apart phones, computers, a lot of other stuff. And the food is better. <laughs> the food is better at Starlight. Yeah, sure. Um, phone policy, it's not really a big deal. You can mute your phone with some music, but you can wear your hood at Scarlet. You don't have to take your hood down in the school. Your hood? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can wear your hood at Scarlet. Uh, yeah. it, it's different. I, yeah, I said if you want to go to Scarlet, you should do it. Okay, Jamie, what's the biggest difference for 
for you being at Scarlet and then not being here at Princeton? Like, what's the biggest thing that you you dealt with while being at Scarlet? The people. People. What, what, okay. Details. Um, Scarlet is more friendly. I should say, like, it's more appropriate. <laughs> You don't really deal with a lot of trouble. It's not really drama, or as much, much as it is here, it's less drama. You do make more friends, a lot of cool people, a lot of cool teachers. The deans, which are principals, which is another word, principal, they're more understanding. You get more help. Obviously, you start improving my grades. We're improving more since I was with Scarlet. Can make a good money working on web app. You can make good money coding. I was talking about working at some company, making twenty five as soon as like twenty five an hour as soon as I get out of high school. But I have to. It's not easy. You're gonna have to work. It's not easy. Is that company local or is that? Um, it's more of like a work from home kind of thing, doing a computer kind of. So you can make $25 an hour work from home? Yeah. Um, it's pretty much what Brayden and Jordan said. No, you're fine. You're fine. Hey, that's fine. Sorry. We'll have questions for you, but thanks. Uh, okay. Come on, said um, first year I feel like it was kind of boring you learn new things um, you get certification you get OSHA's uh, and OSHA 30s so you know the standards for how companies work you know, it depends on how stuff like that works in different companies you can take anything you want coding um, what's those lawn care, what's those lawn care? Uh, electrical construction um, and other stuff like nursing dental other stuff like that you want to do other kind of stuff uh, hair become a barber or a hairdresser, you do that stuff too. Um, so you learn different kind of um, stuff how those areas, like the um, business side of that time, kind of stuff work, that's the first year. Kind of, yeah, book work, stuff like that. You learn stuff like uh, book work. Um, and then the second year, you go to more of your labs. Um, you just take care of, like, um, sorry. You take care of different things like um, I do, electrical, to help, um, I don't do, uh, placement like Brandon does, you know, little kids do have a have a normal job doing like certain things warehouse. You can have a normal job there. One thing that feels I kind of ran ran on a bit is the uh, sorry, uh, get a car, get a driver's license. Just how to get around from your job, stuff like that. You know, actually can take you places. Trust me, I know this Prince. I have a license, so I will encourage you to get a license so you know what to do and uh, get yourself there. Uh, Learn a lot, get to practice your craft, um, learn different things, meet new, meet new people, met some nice friends, make some good um, lifetime partners that you can hang out with. Um, I would say the hardest thing is to um, learn how to use new tools, stuff like that. Like if you're having um, hard times, to ask, to ask a friend or ask a teacher to help you out. Um, it just takes time. I failed a couple times in my labs, you know, trying to figure out how to get different circuits and how um, the wires work, but I'm getting better at it. Um, get some fun stuff. I mean, there's dress codes. I mean, that's uh, I know, uh, wear different kind of stuff. You could be in an environment. Like, um, you can't wear baggy clothes and electrical and uh, in, uh, electrical and construction because you don't get caught in a saw. I'm going to my thumb ripped off because I was paying attention uh, and stuck my hand to the saw. Like thumb ripped off, but luckily the safety mechanism kicked in to stop the saw before it took my thumb. Um, you'll get hurt if you work in this kind of field, and you learn a whole lot of stuff. So you learn the safety precautions, stuff like that. I think it's pretty fun. 
Um, you know, I work with wood, so when you do electrical, what I'm doing, you get to do construction and electrical at the same time for the first year if you're doing it. And I got to build birdhouses and toolboxes, and we all have to switch electrical, learning how to uh, set up circuits and um, do two wires and three wires, and like that. Um, that was pretty fun, and he's not there, but in construction, they're building like whole um, sheds. Some kids building whole sheds right now, and houses, not houses, but mini houses, stuff like that, and building um, carts and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. And step stools, I have a few step stools that I built. Um, what else? I mean, you get microwaves in the lunch room, so that's um, uh, nice vending machine, a healthy vending machine. You get a nice junk food vending machine there, too. First, uh, first week, all stuff is cleared out, so you can't buy anything. Um, yeah. uh, I would say that's it. Um, basically, because they, what I'm saying, you can uh, have a job, and you can not basically leave. I don't know about other um, courses, but in ours, you can leave and ask your teacher to um, kind of go to work. And so, yeah, you can make tons of money, go on placement, stuff like that. But you don't have to go on placement, stuff like that. Also, if you are joining the team or joining the military, we have ROTC over there too. So if you think about joining the military, I am personally joining the military after high school to make big money. Uh, uh, so you can do that if you can. Uh, the program's nice. I think it's nice over there. And yeah. All right. We're taking, uh, before we will uh, be taking some questions, uh, I think probably one thing I got from. Um, these four is, there was honesty. Yes, a little bit probably more than we <laughs> probably wanted to hear, but hey, that's okay though. I mean, that's part of being a teenager. Not everyone enjoys a high school experience. And I think going to Scarlet, they probably realize, you know what, I like this place better than I did Princeton. I fit in here, I didn't really fit in at Princeton. Um, for those of y'all who are involved, whether it be sports, clubs, you know, you, you're part of something. Well, not every student who comes through these halls want to do a sport, want to do a club. Some just want to prepare for their life and a program over there that helps them do that, they feel a part of that. You know, Jamie, I mentioned, you know, the friends, it's more friendly over there. You know, we're talking about kids from, you know, many several different school districts close to Princeton. And typically you wouldn't encounter probably until after you got out of high school. The kids at Scarlet are coming from, you know, Coda, Middletown, you know, all these local schools, Whitten Woods, and you interact with them because you're in a program with them learning about how to do something to make yourself a lot more money. And yes, you can be involved over there. We have athletes that go to Scarlet, play sports, they do ROTC, cheerleaders, uh, so you can get involved over there, even though these four may not be as involved as some of the kids that would be here who would go over. It's up to you. It's up to you. Um, but we'll be taking um, some questions to hear from, you know, Javion and what he could be making. And I can tell you this, Javion, these two as a freshman, I, won't, I, I ain't going to say too much, but they, they were a handful. To see them speaking to you like young men about their future goals, inspiring to do something with their lives, and, and, and working towards that. You know, Jordan and Ian, I mean, they're, they're doing things that an adult would be thinking about doing years after high school, years after, and they haven't even graduated. And they're talking like they know what they're getting themselves into. So many times, I've been in Princeton 17 years. I see so many kids the week before graduation, and I ask them, what are you going to do when you graduate? A lot say, I have no idea. And I'm like, what do you mean I have no idea? I don't know. I might go to college. I might get a job. I might take a year off. I'm like, you're just graduating from high school. Take a year off. They started as sophomores, went over as juniors, and they're already in a position that a lot of students, years after high school, could never reach. You will be asked to come back, some of you will be asked to come back and speak to students 
were their sophomores and you're a senior. I can promise you, these four never thought they'd be sitting up in front of you speaking as freshmen, as sophomores. I reached out to them you know, last year and said, hey, I need some speakers. You know, I, I hear things going great for you guys. Now, does everybody make it? Mr. Jefferson will tell you we have several that did not make it. They came back. They didn't like it. And those that are back, most of them will tell you they wish they would have stayed. They missed the high school part of high school. They missed the fun. They missed the drama. They missed all that. And when they got back and they realized, you know what? I don't even like this. So if you don't go with the right attitude, you're not going to be successful. And we want all of you all who are seriously thinking about going to go. Everyone up here told you. These four said you will not regret going. You'll really be glad you went. They understand how it's helped make them more mature. It's making them money. Brains make a thousand bucks a week. I know adults who don't make a thousand bucks a week. A lot of adults are making that much money a week. What are you? 17, 18? 17. 17 making a thousand bucks a week. And he loves it. And he, he and potential to make more. When they start talking about working weekends and working overtime, we're not talking about working at Target. You put in extra hours for the holidays. Because they want to get all these Christmas gifts out. We're talking about a job that you love doing, enjoy doing. And they're going to pay you extra to do that. You can't pass that up. A lot of your parents, or I've spoken to some of these parents, of you guys' parents, they went to Scarlet and they enjoyed it. And they tell me, like, I love Scarlet. So, think about it. Talk to your case manager. Talk to your parents about it. You will be going over for a visit, as I said before, in February. Don't wait until February to decide you want to go to Scarlet Oaks. Sorry for the interruption. Staff, if you could please, if you haven't already done so, if you could please release students who signed up for the college fair to come down to the cafeteria. Thanks. All right, so uh, questions. So if you could, if you have a question, if you could say, I have a question for Javion, then that way Javion can reply. Or if you have a question for Jordan or Brandon or Ian, raise your hand and say you have a question for and then that individual will answer uh, your question. So, all right. Any questions, anyone? Questions. All right, Malachi, question. Who's a question for? All, all of them. All of them. Okay, what's your question? Like, what's the food like? Food. Oh, amazing. You get okay. like, I don't, I forgot what they have here, but you get like Chinese, you get like sub, you get chicken, you get everything. <laughs> it's, real good. No, it's, it's a nice ride. It's real good. Yeah, they get a lunch lady who thinks I don't eat at home, so I get free pizza and chocolate milk every day. So, yeah. Eating <laughs> yeah, food? It's all right. You get a microwave, they can eat it through home. Through, 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 through. Oh, yeah, they got microwaves. No, no, you can't. No, I'll get it. That's too much. Don't eat it, probably. Jamie, on food. Please. Hmm? Food. What about the food? Uh, I don't eat much. You don't, you don't eat much? Now, can you leave to go to lunch? Can you leave campus to lunch? Oh, he used to be able to. Okay. Now we change that. Dean, this new dean doesn't. Okay. When I do, you really just need to eat twice. Now, can you bring your lunch? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we have lockers. We used to have lockers here. Like, do you have your own locker at Scarlet? So, in electrical, yeah, we do have our own locker for our own tools in, but we kind of got rid of that because still cold. We have lockers, but you can't access them anymore. Yeah. So, lockers. so, in your program, you have your own personalized area? Yeah, yeah. You have your own locker that you can use in your own lab. If, if your lab has lockers, I keep them with tools in there. Like, you can bring us someone in there. You can turn the lock if you, uh, like that, so. Yeah, but I don't use it. So, yeah. Good question. Any other questions? Okay, I have one. Getting help with your academic classes. So, I'm going to ask each of you because some may be better in math, compared to English, science, and history. If you need help, how is it? Because here, they have a um, case manager, interspecialist, and um, 
most of the class doesn't even help it. So, Brandon, like, describe to the kids, like, help, getting it, needing it. So, uh, honestly, if you need help, there's, there's places you can go, actually. You can go to a classroom, and it'll just sit you down and help you with homework. And uh, if you ask for help, they'll, sit, they'll just take you there and then, you know, tell the people there that you need help. But there you go. And, and plus, the teachers are really helpful. Like, if you say, like, I don't know what this is, I don't know what that is, yada, yada, they'll sit you down and walk you through it that day. It's pretty nice. Now, your academic day, in your program, you spend, what, maybe two and a half hours? You're yeah. still doing science, history, <laughs> math, English, correct? Yeah, yeah. How big are those classes? Here, we're looking at 30. It's my classes? I only have two, and they're pretty small. Like, no, give me, give me kind of a number. Like, like my first bell is like 10 people. That's it? Yeah. So, maybe I like your class sizes or what? Maybe I'll. On the average, 15, 20, 15, 20. Door, how big are your classes on average? 15. Okay. Now, the smaller the classes, meaning the teachers can help students quicker. Um, I know our classes here, we got 30. 30. Um, some teachers have, some classes have two teachers, and we still find it difficult to answer all the kids' questions when they need them um, because there's just so many students in the classroom. Okay. Um, the start of the school day. Jordan drives. Getting from here to Scarlett, how does it work? So, um, go ahead, Andy. So either the Scarlet bus can take you straight to Scarlet, or if you take the Princeton bus, you can take the Princeton bus, and the bus 23, I think, takes you straight to Scarlet. That's what I take sometimes, the bus taking me to Princeton. Um, and then the bus takes you from um, Princeton to Scarlet, so back to where your house is around that top block block. Um, so at the end of the day, does it bring you back here, no, or you go right to your home? I'll go right to my house. Okay. Yep. I think that's all. So Scarlet, where the campus is located, literally just down the street, you uh, take a left, take a right on whatever that road is. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, I live seven minutes from my house to Princeton, it's seven minutes from my house to Scarlet. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much where it is. And if you drive, it's pretty cool. You get to leave anytime you want, just get in your car, go home. There's like no security guards, like there is here. It's, uh, I'm, I'm, tell, I'm telling well, I'm know, telling God's I mean, honest truth here. These, these, are things, like, these are things that these kids want to know, right? right? They don't want to know all the yeah, boring stuff. Well, I'm telling you how you drive, literally walk out the front doors, um, and uh, you don't even need to sign out. Just, uh, just, just go home. <laughs> See, they know. They know what's up. You know what I'm saying? All right. We got, got about five more minutes. I have any other questions? We talked about food, the campus. Uh, they did mention that some programs have uniforms. Question, Malachi? Do they offer drivers in? No, no, no. no, no I wish honestly, I would be doing it. Yeah. How many questions? No, no, it was free for one year, but yeah. I was the only year that was attended. It was free for my junior year. Oh, okay. Uh, now, most of your programs, now, out of pocket expense, expenses because parents want to know what's it going to cost my kid to go? Not a dime. Not a dime. Does it cost your parents anything? No. Nope, that's what I said. Only the field trips, um, like stuff like that, liability, stuff like that. No. Um, Jay Mellon, you should have a uniform. Okay, now, who paid for the uniform? So, it, your program could require you to wear a uniform. Yeah. Um, Jay Mills does. He said it where? He's, he's a rebel, I guess. Um, anything that having to do with medicine, I can almost guarantee you like to be wearing scrubs yep. that come out of your pocket. Yep. Question. What's up? She said you all love to do what you do now. Do you oh. love it? Oh, yeah. Like, like Scarlet-wise or job-wise? Well, your job, Scarlet. Definitely. Yeah, you know, it's yeah, it's a life skill, so you get to learn different things. So uh, it wouldn't be a waste to go there because you could pick up something and then come back and learn something new if you don't like it there. You're like, oh, shoot, now I know how to um, 
mow lawns or uh, set up an electrical system or tan someone's tire and stuff like that. So yeah, I think I that's a great response. It's a life skill. What you're learning over there, right? You would have to go somewhere and get and pay to learn that. Mm -hmm. You're looking at a two year, four year college after high school that you're spending money on that they we spend on you to go get that training. Mm -hmm. And in two years when you graduate, you can continue your education, go to college two or four years. But as Ann said, like, you've learned something. You're able to go out and make money doing that. And you know, you better yourself as an individual uh, for doing that too. So um, that's a great answer. Um, all right, guys, we've got about two more minutes of the bell rings. Do I have any more questions? Thank all of you all for being a great attendance uh, group. Um, Please, if you could, nah, I'm going have time. Um, we will get emails out for these individuals. If you want to contact them, maybe your question didn't come to you until late. You actually want to ask them another question. Um, I know Jordan's pretty blunt. He doesn't care. <laughs> hey, you got but, any uh, questions? So I'm going to let you know. Hey, thank you guys. Hey, thank these guys. Like, literally, I'm, I'm very proud. Of all four of them, and the girls that they've uh, that they've made in the last few years. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.